Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss what are the solutions for fourth question. So what is our fourth question is what type, what, which parts we should show that equal to each other that is congruent to each other then in order to show that two triangles are satisfying the SA's congruency criteria. So here two triangles that are given first in this. So first one, what type of triangles it is. So let's take let triangle ABC and triangle PQR. So triangle ABC and triangle PQR. What they are given in both the both the triangles we have to write first. So ABC angle B is equals to 40 degrees. Then BC will be equal to 5 centimeter. Here also angle Q they are given 40 degrees. Then PQ given 5 centimeters then what is if need to satisfy SS congruency rule means first you have to start with the known side after that we have to go with the known angle after that we have to go with the known side first we have to take in any side first you have to start from one side then angle then side it should have like that only so here let's take what type of parts so here already BC angle is there next side is this only no so next side is that one what is that is a b let's take a b will be x centimeters x so here they are given 5 centimeter 40 then q r q r will be x centimeters then it is satisfied so what is the condition then it is satisfied is so let's take what you can write is a b c so a b is a x first side then angle b 40 degrees then b c 5 centimeters next here also so we are started with x centimeter now so here we need to start here r q p like that x centimeter 45 centimeter or you can write in the format of let's take c b a c b is 5 centimeter then angle then side here p q r so here p q r is what so 5 centimeter angle then side so what you can write is c b a is congruent to p q r so angle b and b and angle q r satisfied that see here c b c b is 5 centimeter then angle c b and p q is a 5 centimeters then angle b angle q that in the middle then b a q or 5 centimeters 5 centimeters then it is satisfying the excess congruency rule it should be like that then it is satisfying the congruency rule so what you can write is so what are the requirements is a b should be congruent to q r or a b equal to q r so what is our next question so here 35 degrees 35 degrees taken so let second one triangle c a d and triangle c a b so c a c a or here from both the triangles c a will be equal to c a that is congruent to each other and it is a common side for the both the triangles so here common sign for the both the triangles for upper one let's take one this is two so c a is a common side next angle a equal to from here 35 degrees and here also angle a is 35 degrees so in order to show that two triangles then what is that should be equal so we are started here and we are coming like this we are started here and we are going like that for the first one so so what is that is a d should be congruent to a b then both triangles will be congruent to each other then what you can write is let's take this is x and this is x so it will be like this means side angle side side angle side so it it will be like that so let triangle c a d is congruent to triangle c a b so if it is like this then what you can say is both the triangles are congruent to each other it should be satisfied with the given angles and with the given sides by using SS congruency criteria so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts please give the comment section and please subscribe